Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I have a really fun video planned for today and you, some of you guys already know kind of what this video is about. Well, not technically. I don't know. So in the last video I did of thrifting for business clothes, I found a, some really cool lamps, but I told you guys in that video that I had a bunch of other really cool stuff to show you, so I was going to wait to show you in that video, which is this video. So, one of our close friends, I don't actually think you've met them in a video, but maybe sometime in the future it will happen. Um, so, she knows this guy who we also know, but just not super close. He had a bunch of like stuff because he ran a business for a long time and he kind of collected all of this stuff throughout the years and he decided to go through it all and get rid of a bunch of stuff. So we got to go through and look and find a bunch of really cool stuff. Um, there is one more thing that we haven't picked up yet because it's really big but I will show you guys in another video, so you'll have to just keep watching. So I guess this is kind of like another thrifting video, but it, like I didn't get it from a thrift store, if that makes sense. So also I'm doing a lot of laundry, so if you hear a bunch of noise in the background, that's what it is. Okay, without further ado, I'm going to just show, show what we got. It's not a whole lot, so yeah. So the first thing that we have here, is a really nice juicing machine. Let me see what brand this is. This is Bella. I don't really know a lot about juicers, but Peter does. And when he saw this, his eyes lit up like, oh my gosh. So Peter does juice quite often. Um, and we have a juicer. It's really big and like, it's really big, probably like double this size. And I, it doesn't look as nice as this one, that's for sure. So he was very excited about this and I know that it will get a lot of good use. So here's that. If you guys have any fun juicing recipes, feel free to leave them below in the comments because I'm sure Peter would love to hear more things he can use. All right, next thing we got is this Patagonia uh, backpack thing. I do know how to put this on. <laughs> I think. Um, yeah. So Peter saw this and he loved it and he grabbed it immediately. He always has a backpack on him. Kind of like, I don't know, kind of like how women take their purse with them everywhere. Peter has a backpack at all times with his camera and laptop and snacks and really just a bunch of random stuff. But this is mostly for him, but it is Patagonia brand, which is a really nice find. However much this is normally is probably how much we paid for all of this stuff, I'm assuming. So that's really nice. And again, I'm sure we will get a lot of use out of that as well. These next couple of things we got for camping, just in case we ever decide to go. Uh, Peter loves camping. I used to go camping with my family. We used to go every year, actually, um, but we haven't been in a really long time. We did randomly buy two sleeping bags from Costco because they were on sale. Haven't opened them one time, but we do plan on going camping, hopefully this year. So, there was this portable grill. I don't think it has been opened yet. I think this will be really cool. I think this is kind of like a necessity for wherever, like if you, not a necessity, like you can go camping without one of these, but this will definitely make it easier because you can cook like breakfast and meat and I don't know, fun stuff. So I'm very excited about this and hopefully we'll be using it. Then we got this little lantern, which is cute. I just remember um, how much we used our lantern when we went camping. So. I knew this was a really good find and I think it probably needs batteries. So, but this seems like a really nice one and it has a hook so you can hook it on things. This will be really nice. Then we got these, I think this is a set, a Stanley, um, this is a thermos. It's pretty big, it smells like coffee in here. So that's, that's kind of funny. These things are just really nice to have, like to, to own just in case, you know. 
and maybe like bring soup in one day. I don't know if I put soup in this one because it smells like coffee, but I'm sure Peter will put his coffee in here. And then we have a matching coffee mug to go with it. And Peter was also very excited about this. I didn't see this one at first. I just saw this and I was like, hey, do you want this? And he's like, yeah. And then he saw the matching coffee cup. He's like, I want that too. So he was very excited about this. So that is all the camping stuff that we got. It wasn't a whole lot, but um, it's a start. I think really we just need to get a tent and I don't know what else we need to get. We'll get it eventually. The next thing I got is a stock pot. I do not have a stock pot and I almost bought one the first time I made gumbo, but then I just ended up borrowing my mom's because I didn't want to get a cheap one because um, even the cheap ones are like $20. I wanted like a nice one that would last me a long time. And the bonus about this is that it's red and all of my, um, like all of the stuff I have is in the kitchen is red. So this is perfect. It matches exactly how I want it and it's Paula Dean brand don't know if that's good but it's really big in here I have some of the juicing stuff in here so I'm very excited about this the more I get into adulthood the the more random things make me happier in life like when I was little I got so excited about toys and money to buy toys and a new lip gloss and I don't know having sleepovers just like all that random stuff but now it's things like a brand new red stock pot that just I'm just like yes I get so excited about so um the next thing I got is gonna be kind of hard to show but I'm going to attempt to show it it is a little not little <laughs> it's a camping chair not really a camping chair I don't know so on this side it has um, a little pouch is like a zipper and it has a bunch of like little pouches and stuff and then on this side it has a little tray table and it opens up and it's really wide actually like I can sit in it and I probably could have like my niece and ne my niece or nephew sit next to me as well it's pretty wide but I just really really like this thing the guy I got it from was sad to get rid of it because I guess he brought this with him to concerts so he told me about some of the concerts he saw and all the memories he had in it. So these are the best things to like buy from people when you know the story behind it. Because now every time I see this, I think of him and like his life and the stuff that he did in this chair. I don't know. I just think it's really cool to know the history behind even simple things like a camping chair. So, okay. So I did get one more thing from that um, whole garage sale type deal but I don't want to bring it over here because it's going to get the rug dirty so I'm going to show you that last but the next thing I am so excited to show you guys is the lamp that I got from that thrifting video if you didn't watch that video I will try to remember to link it down below if I don't you just will have to go back and watch the videos um so I have been telling Peter that I wanted to just add some more stuff to our house um, not necessarily get rid of anything or like change the style completely. I just want to add more stuff because we still have a lot of like blank walls. So I was thrifting at the Ark for some work clothes and I ended up finding these two lamps and they were normally $15, which still isn't bad. But then when I went, it was Senior Tuesday. So if you're 55 and above, you get half off of everything every color tag pretty much and so I told I called Peter and I was like if I can get these on sale can I buy them and he's like sure so I called Peter's dad and he I went to pick him up came back to the ark bought them and dropped him back off and now I have really cool lamps so here they are there's no lampshade yet so you'll have to imagine so here's the bottom it's, I have to dust it still, so sorry about the kind of dullness going on. But it's this really pretty, like, kind of a mix between bronze and gold. This orange, this color, I am obsessed with. Like, I'm going to add so much of this in my house. I, like, 
I love this color in households so much and it goes really well with gray like you can see and um, I already have a lot of gold in my house that matches this and the bottom and I have a few things that have this color but this is what I'm gonna buy more of and then I'm also gonna be buying more of like that really dark like winter green color and that goes really well with this as well so I am so excited about these and it has like little like details of gold all around there it's like kind of like they put putty on there and just painted it gold and it's all over so it looks really cool and I don't exactly know what color lampshade I'm gonna put yet or where I'm gonna put these but I do know I'm gonna use them and I'm very excited about it and the last thing I have to show you I have to pick up the camera because I don't want to bring it over here and get my rug dirty so this is the last thing i got and it is a um wow what is this called okay i literally forgot the name of this i had to go google it brain fart okay so we got this really nice cornhole set and it's kind of like this red um stained wood it's kind of dusty that's why i didn't want to bring it over on my rug but it comes with the bean bags and um, they are Velcro together, so this is one and this is one, and it's a, a set, and it comes with little um, handles to carry, and yeah. I am super excited about the cornhole thing because we love hosting and like having people over and playing games, and during the summertime, it'll just be fun to have that outside so we can play some cornhole, and we have a basketball um, hoop on the side of our apartment as well so it's it's pretty nice so that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i hope you liked seeing all the things that i bought and if you have any suggestions like what color lampshade would go well with this or recipes for juicing or recipes that you like to cook in your stock pot or any of that stuff please comment down below i love hearing from you guys also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and most importantly, don't forget to subscribe because I've been posting a lot more often and I don't want you guys to miss out on anything. I hope you guys have a good rest of your day or night or morning whenever you're watching this and I will see you guys next time.